Hey everyone, Brandon Hofer here back again with the Whole Life Challenge and we're continuing our series on posture. Uh, today we're going to be specifically focused on spinal movement and uh, introducing with consistency uh, movement uh, to your spine. So we're going to start with just really basic flexion extension of the spine. And so you can see as I round my upper back here, I pull my low abs in, exhale, tuck the tailbone, and try to get as much movement as I can from my spine. Then I return to the neutral and slightly extended position. Uh, sometimes you'll hear this referred to as cat and cow uh, in a yoga class, um, but the idea is just to begin to introduce some movement to the spine. From there, we wanna move towards some rotation, specifically in this case through the thoracic spine which is often a place that a lot of people get stuck, especially if you spend a lot of time in the desk posture, right? So the shoulders round forward, uh, your chest starts to become tight, and gradually you uh, begin to lose the, the capacity to rotate through your thoracic spine. Um, it's been said that each uh, around each vertebrae, you can get about three degrees of rotation, and so um, your spine should be able to rotate pretty far. So when, if you just keep one hand grounded and reach up towards the sky, towards the leg that you have in front, you can begin to introduce that rotation through your thoracic spine. Then from here, we're gonna transition into a deep squat position. And this one will be tricky uh, simply because it is not necessarily a, a position that everyone can get into with that fully extended thoracic spine. And all we're gonna do is again, introduce that flexion extension, except this time you have to support yourself through your legs and your hips. And gradually as you introduce more and more uh, flexion extension, you should be able to also at the same time introduce a little more uh, mobility to the hip socket and get a little bit deeper. The aim is to get uh, hips either level with your knees or just slightly lower than your knees. And then from there, we're gonna reintroduce that thoracic extension, again, this time from the deep squat position. So give it a try, don't worry about it if you can't get into these positions perfectly at first. It can take months or even years uh, before this starts to feel good, but the idea is just to do a little bit each day, do what you can, and reintroduce those basic movement patterns into your body. Enjoy, and we'll see you again next time.